The teaser trailer for Thor Love and Thunder finally dropped just a few short hours ago at the time of this recording and at the very end of the trailer we see a great shot of Natalie Portman's Jane Foster as Thor and she's holding in her hand none other than Mjolnir and it's not the same Mjolnir Thor used in Avengers Endgame because Captain America returned that one to its original place in the timeline. This Mjolnir that Jane is wielding has cracks all around it which leads us to believe that this is going to be the same Mjolnir Hela destroyed with her bare hands in Thor Ragnarok. So, with that Milner left in pieces, how is it now reassembled and fully functioning again in Jane's hands? To answer the question, how is Jane wielding the broken Mjolnir, I want to take you to a few different times in the comics where Mjolnir was destroyed. In Thor Volume 2, Issue 10, back in 1999, a dark god named Pericus gets free from a hidden cell he was imprisoned in by Odin. He causes havoc and used a dark god forged blade to slice Mjolnir in half, meaning the hammer's powers still worked. Damage to the hammer was undone when the owner of the hammer reassembled it later on. Now, I think something like this is how Mjolnir in Thor Love and Thunder could potentially make a return. Just because the hammer was shattered, it doesn't mean that its powers and Odin's enchantment went away. So perhaps somehow Jane Foster is worthy to wield Mjolnir for whatever reason. And because of this, she was able to find all the pieces of the hammer successfully and reassemble it herself, thus becoming the new Thor as she's able to wield it. And another route I can see them taking inspiration from is 2009's Thor issue 600 where Thor and Bor, who's Odin's father and Thor's grandfather, fight each other after Bor attacks New York. And due to the intensity of the fight, Thor is forced to give his all. So he delivers a killing blow to Bor, shattering Mjolnir into many pieces, similar to how Hela shattered Mjolnir into pieces in Thor Ragnarok. To fix Mjolnir this time, Thor went to Doctor Strange and Strange fixed it by uniting the hammer with Thor's own life force. Although, because the hammer is so badly damaged, if it ever shattered again, then Thor could die due to the fact that his life force will share the hammer's damage. And I can see this being the case as well for Jane Foster's Thor in the MCU. The next MCU film is of course Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness so we could potentially get a post credit scene where Jane Foster goes to Doctor Strange or any wizard for that matter in the Sanctum to help fix Mjolnir and the only way they will be able to do that is by connecting Jane's life force with the hammer so if the hammer breaks again then Jane could potentially die. In Avengers Volume 1, Issue 215, all the way back in 1981, Molecule Man destroys several weapons belonging to the Avengers, such as Captain America's shield, Silver Surfer's board, and of course, Thor's hammer, Mjolnir. But by the end of the story, Molecule Man reassembled all the items he destroyed. In regards to Thor Love and Thunder, Molecule Man won't be appearing in this film as far as anyone on the outside of the production knows, so it's unlikely that this is how Milner has been reassembled, but perhaps they could take inspiration from this story and just replace Molecule Man with a different character who will be the one responsible for reassembling the hammer. And in Thor Volume 1 Issue 388, which came out in 1988, Thor faced off against a celestial named Exeter and during battle when Thor pierces Exeter's armour, Exeter's celestial energy destroys the hammer. The celestial saw that there was no need to fight any longer and so the conflict ended. And after the conflict had ended, a celestial created clone of Thor used his godlike tech to heal Thor's battle wounds and fix the broken hammer. Now, we've already seen Celestials in the MCU, most recently in Eternals, but judging from what we've seen and heard of the film so far, it doesn't seem like there will be any Celestials in this movie, so it's unlikely that this is how Thor Sahaman will make a return. Plus, I doubt we will be seeing or getting a Thor clone in this movie as well. 
But what do you guys think? How do you think Thor's hammer has been reassembled? Do you think Jane Foster did it herself? Or do you think she went to Doctor Strange or a wizard to do it? Let me know down below in the comments. If you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Share the video with your friends. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Follow me on my social media channels, which I will leave a link to in the description down below so that we can continue the conversation over on my Twitter and Instagram. And I'll see you guys later in the next video.